What's up guys, Attack Person here, and today in this video, I'm going to talk about the VHBox G Wireless Charger Receiver. Let's get into the video. So the first thing I want to talk about is the feel of it. It has a microfiber material on it so that it doesn't scratch your phone. I think that is very clever. They also have both the iPhone and Android version, so that's also great. But I have one main issue with this. It totally works, but it's not certified, which does concern me about its safety. It also made my phone very hot, and it's a bit on the thick side because of the microfiber coating. Because of this, my phone has gotten noticeably thicker when using it, and now it does have a slight curve to it on the back. I also have another issue with this. It occupies my port. Now this is not an issue with this wireless charger receiver specifically, but sometimes I just need to use the port for like portable chargers, plugging my phone into iTunes, and stuff like that. It's really annoying that I have to take off the case and the receiver off each time I want to do that. So my overall recommendation, don't buy this. And not only this specific wireless charger receiver, but all of them in general. They are a gimmick, and you try to make your life more convenient because you don't have to plug in any wires, but in the long run, you don't. Each time you want to plug in a portable charger, each time you want to plug it into a computer, each time you just need that port, you have to take off the case, take off the receiver, and then do it. But if you know what you're getting into, and you don't use portable chargers, or plug your phone into a computer, or don't care about your phone getting mm -hmm. thicker, and don't care that it's not certified, then this is fine. But if you do care about any of those things, you will definitely be disappointed. So my recommendation, Stay away from wireless charger receivers. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe with notifications on. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at the Tech Person YouTube, and check out our website and merch. All the links for these will be in the description. For now, I'm the Tech Person, and I will see you in the next episode.